How much are the clothes? Oh, the clothes? Yeah. Um, just different prices. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I go to garage sales, rubber sales, yard sales, and we look for undervalued items to flip for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. We just pulled up to this sale and right when we pulled up, I kind of had one of those feelings like, man, I think that this is going to be a good garage sale. So I'm going to go ahead and let the footage roll and let's see what we can find today. Here's another bag of hats. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'm over here looking at one of these general electric alarm clocks. This one wasn't in the best shape, but some of these older vintage clocks can go for some really good money, so always be sure to comp those out. As I head towards the back table, I do notice there's a whole bunch of hats here on this table and in this bin and all these bags. There's two gentlemen right here that are buying all the hats. So I got there a little bit too late. I don't know how many hats I got, but there must have been at least over 50 hats, if not more. So um, I'm sure they probably scored on this, but I was a little bit too late. I did come out that blue Thunderbird hat and it's listed for like $10, so nothing crazy. But when there's that many hats, there is a chance that there could be like a diamond in the rough. So, I mean, if I would've got there a little bit earlier, I probably would've tried to get all those hats. Stacy ends up finding some Mickey and Minnie little plush. I still had the tag on them, they were new. And one of those Hallmark snowmen's that we usually like to pick up throughout the year. And that one was still new and had the tags. Over on this table, I do notice these two Bibles. Um, study Bibles can be really good. These just looked older, caught my eye, vintage. Um, so I'm interested in these two Bibles. I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm gonna keep that in my mind as I keep looking around. Looks heavy. It's, it's pretty chipped up. Yeah. Christmas lamps. Over here looking at this bubble lamp. Uh, my uncle likes bubble lamps, so I'm picking it up for him. You cannot sell anything with bubble lights on eBay, so just keep that in mind, but I ended up picking this up for my uncle. It's like a, you can keep it in your trunk and it doesn't matter if it gets hot and yeah. so you can hand it and give them a couple bucks and they can have a meal and That's good, yeah. yeah, I think it's going to get worse too as we're going right oh, now. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. More and more. <clears throat> yep. Well, thanks for coming by. Yeah, it's about how much it is, but it's a good price. I'll get it. Stacy also found these three like older vintage Wrangler shirts. They just looked really cool. So we're definitely gonna pick these up as well. Okay.
I'm going through this box of vinyls, but I do see a couple of Johnny Cash ones, which I thought, hey, maybe, you know, these might be worth something. But when I comped them out, they weren't really worth anything, probably like 10 bucks a piece. So I had to pass on those. This. I think this is cool. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. All right, so you want to get all this stuff? Thank you very yeah. much. You're very helpful. All right. What do you think? About 25. 25? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you good? Just showing you guys a couple of things that were in that pile that you really couldn't notice. There's some belts here that Stacy picked up. And as I'm leaving, I do see this case with these binoculars in it. Um, now, I haven't had like the best luck with binoculars, but these ones just looked older and unique. So I think I'm going to try to pick these up before I leave. Those? There's some binoculars. I was thinking $5. Five bucks? Yeah, okay. All right. yeah. I'm gonna Huh? Thank, you, Thank sir. you, sir. You're welcome. On this table, I do notice this Black & Decker Space Maker, and I've had really good luck with these in the past. Um, I like to get them if they have all the pieces, like the mounting hardware and the screws and things like that, and if they're in pretty good shape. This one isn't in the best of shape. It is missing like the bracket for it. But like I said, I've had pretty good luck with these, so I think I'm gonna try and pick this up. You good? For the clothes? Oh, the clothes? Yeah. Um, just different prices. For this one? The jack, the uh, sweater? Yeah. Um, I'd probably do four on the sweater. Okay. Four dollars? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. This side. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Thanks, man. That we have this and this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. I it this morning. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Have a great day. Thank you. And I did pick up this duck for $1.